Uh, what a compelling and interesting transmission. I haven't heard about side heel gougers in years. It's been a long time, but now I'm excited because I feel like I'll be able to venture into side heel force again to see if I can document or discover or record evidence, tracings, footprints, even scat of the side heel gouger. What? Today I'm going to talk about some of the equipment that I'm going to bring into Side Hill Forest. First thing I want to show you is the all-purpose knife. There we go. Second thing is an energy bar. Not just for me, but I plan on setting out some bait to hopefully draw out a gouger. Once I understand where a gouger might be, I see I'd be using this and this picks up this picks up animal frequency in the woods. It doesn't pick up anything up here right now, but once in the woods, I'm hoping to hear some things far in the distance. Next thing is the latest film camera from Canon. And I like the way they changed it from automatic to manual. So when I use it, you know, I just flip it open. And I'm good to go. And also, I always bring duct tape because I'm going to be by a pond. And this is uh, just for extra security in case I do actually come across a side hill gouger. And the reason why I bring this because I do plan on finding one today. So this is a quick little overview of all the equipment. When I received the notification, uh, the coded message said to head west. So that I did. I hopped in my van. I headed west. But I was not certain of where exactly to go. So I stopped at a wayside cottage on the edge of the forest and asked for a direction. She gave good directions and had pretty flowers. I was able to find the entrance, the pathway to Side Hill Forest. I entered the forest and started my investigation. Along the way, it was not easy to determine right away where you might find a side hill gouger. The thing I had to find was some side hills. Those being hills that are roughly at a 35 to 50 degree angle. That's where you're likely to find side hill gougers. <laughs> What is the side hill gouger you ask? I heard about the side hill gougers 50 years ago. I attended summer camp 
at camp Christmas tree. And at night, when we'd have fires, our counselors would tell us tales of the side hill gouger. They said the side hill gouger was a rodent that was designed to walk on the side of a hill. Thusly, its body design was made up of a right arm and right leg that was shorter than the left. If you can imagine that, shorter on the right, longer on the left, it allowed him to walk around the side of a hill. And you got to understand, side hill gougers created a lot of havoc that way. The first thing I found was a crater or a hole in the earth. It had the side hill aspect to it so that when they walked into it, they would venture downward. It seemed to be a perfect spot for gougers to bed for the night. This is further proof that they sleep here because this is an old bed spring. One thing I was starting to notice is that even though side hill gougers need to walk on the side of the hill, they occasionally need to scurry through the woods. Yeah, when they scurry through the woods, they tend to want to bump into things. I stepped off the path and this overwhelming sense I might be in the presence of some side hill gougers. And sure enough, as I scrounged about the forest floor, I uncovered two skulls. Two skulls. Ah, so first I came across the gully and now I came across the burial grounds, the place where they go to die. I was certain I was in the right spot. The next step was to secure a photograph of the creature. And if I was to do that, I would be able to achieve something that no one else has ever been able to do. I think I got a shot, maybe two, not sure, but I'm gonna run to the drugstore to drop the film off. Hey, I just got back from the drugstore and I'm pretty sure I have a photo that will enlighten everyone and maybe change everyone's minds that, yes, the side hill gouger is real.
Oh, I can't go on. Sorry, spirit. Thank <laughs> you.